Hello again, Mr. Slusher from the Quantitative Reasoning Center. So, why do we have to do calculus? Well, calculus is just another tool that we use here to help develop you into Air Force officers. It's just another tool, just like marching or following orders. Uh, so, don't dread it. Embrace it. It's part of your training. It's going to help you develop into the officer uh, that you are going to become. Okay, but I can help you out here. There's one of your homework problems. It is number 17 from section 9.2. In this one, we are given a series and we're asked to calculate the sum of this series. Okay, so we have two different kinds of series. We have finite and infinite and uh, we can calculate the sum of either kind, but this particular one is a finite series because we see it goes from 4 to 20. That's a finite integral uh, interval. So uh, the formula is a little more complicated, but it's, it's still pretty easy. So the formula, as you can read along in uh, the blue box of knowledge on page 472, goes something like this. A times 1 minus x to the n n divided by 1 minus x. Okay, fairly simple formula if you understand what each piece is. A is, of course, the first term being what you start with. And uh, 1, of course, is 1. x is what's inside the uh, brackets, which is going to be raised to a power. And n, what's that? Well, that is the number of terms that are in your series. It is not the number that ends up up there, always. Sometimes it is, but it may not be. And I uh, have a repeat down here. So let's do, let's just apply that formula uh, to this particular series. So A, the first term, and I can see the first term is n equals 4. So I'm going to have 1 fourth uh, to the fourth power. And you may have noticed I changed my, my uh, series just a little bit, just to let you uh, have the chance to work yours on your own. Uh, but the principles are all the same. Okay, so there's a, and now I've got 1 minus x to the n. 1 minus 1 fourth raised to the, now don't be tempted to put a 20 in there. Remember that n is the number of terms in my series. So how, how many do we have? Well, let's count them. Well, we're starting at 4 and going to 20. Uh, I don't have that many fingers, but if I did, you'd see I'd, I'd be holding up 17 fingers as I counted through those. So it is to the 17th because I have 17 terms from 4 to 20. Uh, and all of this over 1 minus x, which is 1 minus 1 fourth. Okay. That's too easy, isn't it? This is just uh, something you can throw in your honor later, play around with uh, parentheses, get practice using those. And uh, with this particular problem, you'll see the answer comes out to uh, approximately uh, 0.0052. So there you have it. Not hard. Just keep in mind what each term is. A, the first term, x, what's inside the parentheses, n, the number of terms in your series. Alright, got it? Come see me if you need any help. Bye.